Thank you guys for tuning in to today's YouTube video. We have a new product review to take a look at. Um, this is kind of like blind going into it, not necessarily reading the tech specs that are back there. Um, didn't even skim through them and really haven't watched much videos on them, but I knew that I wanted to try them. This is the Phantom GX2 Elite. And then it says level eight. I don't know if that's maybe just like the colorway. I'm not sure, um, but it is in my size 10 and a half, of course. Um, interesting enough, I was supposed to get these um, two days ago, but they had blocked off my street. Like the UPS couldn't get um, here to my street, so they kept trying to deliver two days. And finally, today they arrived on a Saturday. So that's pretty cool. I had said that they were going to be delivered Thursday or Tuesday instead yesterday. So I was kind of bummed out. I was calling UPS. They told me I had to call Nike. I called Nike. And now it's so confusing because they said, Nike said that they could do like have me pick it up, pick up uh, a package at a access point. A hub is what they call it. But it was going to take like three, five to eight days for that. And I'm like, no, I'll just wait for UPS to re-deliver re it or to try to deliver it again. And that was going to be Tuesday, but <laughs> came today, Saturday. So that's great. All right. Enough with the story time. I want to look at these bad boys and see. Ooh, colorway is nice. It's not something that we haven't seen before. If you remember a couple Generations of the Mercurio kind of had these similar colors on them. Taking a look at the boot. If if I didn't hold it and and know that it was um, a different boot, I would definitely think that this was like a continuation from the the Phantom uh, GT. It's got more shape of the GT than the previous GX model. So if looking at it, I would think that it's kind of like um uh a G gt and a gx combined if if i'm looking at it you know soul plate is more like gx1 and the shape it's just really like how it's pointed very pointy over here i can tell that maybe if you're wide-footed it may not be such a good option for you um they seem to have changed up some things from the gx1 it's still flexible but remember the gx1 was like you could totally just bend it so they've kind of fixed that there are people complain about the heel counter back here that seems to be a little bit soft or solved it's firmer for sure um and it's like this coating feels a little different it's still grippy but almost feels, uh, I don't know how to describe it, more plasticky feeling, I guess you could say. But, um, so yeah, still gripping it, just a little bit different, altered. You know, this kind of gives me like T90 vibes, a circular pattern here. Um, and yeah, I, I, I definitely want to do a play test on these and to see how they really perform because... I can tell you tech specs all day. I can tell you that they're supposed to feel this way or this is what they're supposed to do. But do they really do that? That is the main question and the main reason why I do reviews, not just to tell you what Nike has, you know, made it for or saying what it's supposed to do. So I usually like to unbox them, not necessarily go over tech specs, just tell you offhand what I see. I can see that the sole plate is, uh, I think I want to say a little bit more aggressive than the previous GX. I'm trying to look if I can see it GX really quick to grab. Um, hold on, give me a second. Okay, so here, yeah, I, I have my uh, custom pair of uh, the GX1 that I have. Definitely doesn't feel as the, the plasticky grip. You can feel a grip on there, and, and these, these are very nice as well but yeah this is definitely a little more 
narrow in the toe box than the previous model. You can definitely see that. And again, the although this stud pattern wasn't that terrible, I wouldn't say this was like uh, still pretty uh, aggressive. But now just going with the bladed studs, like it's just it's just way much better. Um, still, I would I would love uh, like a temple with some bladed you know studs. That'd be awesome. Um, but I guess this technology, the three. This is the first time I'm trying it. Nike, Nike, the Nike Cyclone 360. Sorry, um, didn't try any of these uh, the Phantom Luna before. So yeah, so those of you who don't know, basically the Phantom Luna is the mid cut or high cut, whatever way you look at it. And the Phantom GX2 is just um, the the low cut, and I prefer that. I don't know why. Uh, I I really don't care for the hike. I don't need it. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're paying more money and it's, it does exactly the same thing. That's my take on that. But so definitely a little bit, some changes from uh, the GX1. There's no uh, covering on the GX2, of course. So like there is on the GX1. Those are the main differences. Stud pattern. A little more narrow and no lace covering here. Um, like I said, look at you could easily push this down on last model and this folded up very, very easy. So they've taken care of that stuff. Not hard, not easy, and not easily foldable. I have to actually give it pressure. So these are my first thoughts. You want to look at the other one? <laughs> I do have them both, guys. I promise, I promise they're both here. And then we'll look at the string bag. Because that is always important. Oh, pretty cool. Pretty cool string bag. Nice color. Um, but yeah, that's going to be my first hand look at the new Phantom GX2. I I, I have uh, high hopes for these. That they're going to be an awesome boot. Because I did like the GT. I'm not going to lie. Um, other than having too much, a little bit of space in the front. Um, I thought it was a, a, a really good boot. And I'm hoping that these, since it's both of those to me, in my opinion, put together, then I feel like these should be great. And so stay tuned, guys. I'm going to try to get out there and do a play test on them. I kind of want to do it like uh, at the moment. So have my mic on me, do the talking exactly how I'm feeling, and, and see how it goes. That's how I kind of want to do my places. I don't really think people really do that. They go out there and they do voiceover. I want to do like a live action, my thoughts on the boot. So stay tuned for that video. Should be coming soon. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.